You guys are awesome. You came on a great night. Let's get the party started. Your, next, your first comedian coming to the stage. He's, uh, he's done the hot and like a couple of times. I really like him. I think you're going to like him too. Please give it up for Chris Frechette. Chris Frechette. <laughs> Good tune. How are we doing, Pump House? Yeah. All right, we are enthusiastic tonight. That's awesome. Comedy show and free pizza? You can't beat that. That's awesome. Have you guys had the pizza? I love pizza. Pizza is my favorite food. I love Chicago style pizza. I love New York style pizza. I'm not sure if you guys heard this, but Pizza Cut, they came out with a Detroit style pizza. Have you guys heard of this? It's true. It's kind of just like regular pizza, except when you open up the box, it uh, murders you. <laughs> it's not good for repeat business. So I was dying in the back a few seconds ago because my second bit of the night is also about pickleball. <laughs> I need to contact uh, Poppy before, or all the comics before I do any sets from now on. So allegedly you guys have heard of this before. And it's wildly popular down in Florida. So much so that some of the communities are now having nude pickleball. Have you guys heard about this? Maybe that's why they call it pickleball. I'd be worried about the injuries, though. She said she fell down twice. I'd hate to, like, you know, slip up and scratch your nuts or something. <laughs> Ugh, let's see, putting on the injury reserve, or you got, I mean, it's wildly popular with the seniors, and, you know, you hit the ball, and you've got grandpa coming at you. <laughs> that was in, I was not doing that in slow motion either, by the way. <laughs> That's intimidating. <laughs> so, I hate online dating, because I'm married. No, I never online dated. I'm way too old for that. Um, but I just think that it makes things way too easier on this younger generation. Like when I went and I was trying to like meet up with women back in my 20s, you know, we had to meet in person. And I had to be handsome and charming and pretend to be interested to their stupid stories. Now these guys nowadays, dudes, I mean, it's not fair because, you know, they go on apps like Tinder and they're swiping like they're figuring out what they want to eat for dinner that night. It's like, no, I think I'm in the mood for Asian this evening. <laughs> That's not fair. Speaking of Asian, I don't know if you guys know this, but Indonesia just passed a law banning premarital sex in the country. It turns the tourism department's got to take a hit on that. <laughs> Imagine there commercials come to Indonesia <laughs> just don't come in Indonesia <laughs> unless you're married I'm married doesn't bother me but I don't plan on going to Indonesia there's plenty of other South Pacific Islands I'd rather go to and I think that they should you know take advantage of that situation like come to Thailand get thousands of ladyboys you can fuck them <laughs> I hate uh, that I have to uh, try to like remember and write down all my passwords, especially like the banking ones, because I can never get, you know, them back. So I have to. Like, anyone else write down their passwords? Like you get like the same passwords for everything. It's awful, because uh, I can recognize like when I'm trying to get them, like all those traffic lights in the little boxes. <laughs> my eyes are going a little bit. But I identify as a robot. So I can't click that little I'm not a robot button. Uh, yeah, that was the first time doing that. I might not do that one ever again. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an insider tip for comedy. We have a certain amount of stage time that we're allowed. And when we got about a minute left, we get flashed with a flashlight. Which is the difference between comics and rock stars. Comics, we get flashed with a flashlight. Rock stars get flashed with titties. I like making you guys laugh, but I like titties a lot more. I picked the wrong profession. I should have learned how to play guitar or sing or something. And it's 
it's kind of weird because like you go on these like TikToks or YouTube or whatever, and you see you know girls saying, "Ooh, I like funny guys." Oh, be careful, funny guys that make you laugh, and then all of a sudden, you know, you don't have any clothes on. But never, and I don't care who the comic is, Dave Chappelle, Seinfeld, Kevin Hart, no woman has ever been at a show being that so funny. <laughs> and I think that's wrong. <laughs> and I think that's terrible. We need to change that around. So, I mean, unless there's any ladies who want to be a pioneer tonight, I'll wait. That joke actually never works, but I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep ending my sets with that, just in case. And you know what, when it does happen, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it. I'll probably get a boner and poop myself. So. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks for coming out, supporting local comedy. Let's bring Poppy back up here. Yeah, give it up for Chris Fischette, Chris Fischette.